you please stop complaining? Hello guys, welcome here in my life journey channel and today's thought I am sharing with you guys it's just a reminder stop complaining you gain nothing by complaining guys this is just a reminder to each and every one of us because each and every one of us we're born in this earth with a purpose you are sent in this world with a purpose guys this is just really a share as i am reading in the scripture what happened with joseph when he was sent into egypt and when his brother sold him out there was a purpose of it god sent him to egypt because of the huge famine that can come into their life because he is going to save his brother, his father, his family. He was sent into Egypt to a purpose because the famine, the youth famine, will come and he is going. He is the tool God uses so he can help the people of Egypt. So guys, it is the same with our life. You were born with a purpose. Many of us were complaining every day. We are murmuring that we have pain, we have difficulties, we are poor, we are struggling of different kinds of challenges. But guys, really, you cannot live a life without a challenge you cannot live your best life if you are not going to acknowledge that it is a part of your life journey a reminder to all of us guys that each and every one of us was sent in this world was born in this world with a purpose so guys i want to remind you that instead of complaining, instead of murmuring about what is happening in your life at this moment, acknowledge it that you are very, very blessed. You are blessed. You have food on the table. You have a house to live. You are not freezing. You have a warm house. Many things we can gr be grateful for in this life guys i am sharing this with you instead of complaining please stop complaining just turn that around into praise instead instead of complaining that we are living a hard life life is hard it's very difficult instead of complaining guys turn that around that you are blessed you are very very blessed you are well equipped to do the things you want to do in your life so instead of doing the complaints guys start doing the good things for your life use that as an inspiration that you are capable of doing great things for your life you are capable of you know doing the action do the action the best you can for your life to improve your life and of course you are doing it with love remember love is the most powerful thing of all if you are doing it with love you are acknowledging that god is love and every effort you are doing for your life god will crown it with wealth long life and success guys i am sharing this with you really because i need to inspire myself to inspire myself i have to read the scripture and i am going to share it with you guys because this is my purpose i believe that i am sent in this world i was born in this world i am born in this world with a purpose I am inspired when I can share it to you what I have 
read in the Bible. The scripture is my tool in my daily life, guys, to live day by day in this challenging world. We all must survive the challenge, the changes that we are facing in this world every day. I want to share with you today what is written in John 20, 21. Again, Jesus said, Peace be with you, as the Father has sent me. I am sending you. The Father, our Heavenly Father, sent Jesus Christ in this earth to save us, to save us from our sin. He was sent by our Heavenly Father with a purpose in this earth to save our life, to save us from our sins. God brought us in this world to acknowledge that each and every one of us sent with a purpose. God is going to send us into strategic positions of service, influence, and leadership. We're not called to run away from the world system. God is raising up more in our life to serve in the people, to serve in the government, to find cures for the diseases, and to lead into businesses and universities. Our Father's world is a big world. He's going to position us higher than we dream of. It's because He can trust us. He created us and He can trust us. It's because He loves us. He knows that we are going to honor Him and will put Him first in our life. Guys, God will help us to handle the success with humility, to live with integrity, to be a person of excellence if we can put God first in our life. We must acknowledge that it is very important that God must be first in our life every day. We must stop complaining, stop murmuring. You are sent with a purpose. It's just like our Heavenly Father sent Jesus Christ in this world for a purpose to save us, to lead us, and to die for our sin. So instead of complaining, guys, instead of murmuring, stop for a moment. Turn that complaint into praises. Turn that complaint into gratitude. Begin to say, Thank you, Father, that this big world I live in is your world. Thank you for calling me and sending me with a purpose to infiltrate this world and to run away and not to run away from it. God, I am trusting you to order my step and to hold and help me make a difference in this world. So guys, as my reminder, stop complaining, face the facts that you were born in this earth with a purpose. Instead of complaining, turn that around into praises, turn that around into gratitude, to be thankful in everything you are facing right now, in everything you are conquering in your life right now guys this is just really a reminder because it reminds me that god our heavenly father sent jesus christ in this earth to save our sin to clean this earth and he promised to come back again in this world you were born and sent in this world with a purpose as well so therefore Stop complaining. Live a life with a purpose. To live our best life, we must acknowledge and practice 
gratitude all the time. And instead of complaining, turn it into praises. Praises is very powerful thing, guys. If you cannot find any words how to praise somebody, how to praise God, just simply say thank you. You can say thank you a million times in a day, believing that, you know, you have the love of God within you. Bottom line here, guys, instead of complaining, acknowledge the love and goodness of God. God. Remember, you are not alone. Just think right away that you are sent here. You were born here in this world with a purpose. Simple as that. And turn the complaint into praises. So guys, this is Yundel. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for joining me here in my life journey. I am very grateful to each and every one of you supporting me here in my life journey. I am just sharing with you guys what I have read in the scripture and I am sharing it with you because it gives me hope. It gives me inspiration to live my best life in this challenging world. I love you all and bye-bye.